I'm David from Intelligent Concrete. We're here to talk to you today about ASTM C215. Now me, I'm not a scholar of the numbers, so I have to use words. Let me tell you what that says. It's the standard test method for fundamental transverse longitude and torsional resonant frequency for the concrete specimens. Wow, that's a lot of words. Um, remember when I talked to you before, we talked about modulus of elasticity and how you could calculate it from a stress strain curve when you tested a cylinder? That's the static modulus of elasticity. Let's just call this the dynamic modulus of elasticity. I'm going to put in a dynamic pulse, I'm going to read the frequency and be able to calculate a modulus from that. I've got a bunch of equipment sitting here. I've got this nice little laptop. It's just a standard laptop, uh, anything you can buy off of Amazon. But I got a bunch of stuff plugged into it. And the key is I, it all comes down to this little accelerometer. So this equipment we bought from uh, Olson Engineering in Golden, Colorado. Uh, we're not endorsing them. We're not getting paid to advertise for them. There are a lot of people who make this equipment. But this is a handy little device, and we bought it from them because they're local, and so we use it and we like it a lot. Okay, Whitney's going to join us and help demonstrate this, and we'll talk about uh, how it's used and some of the uh, qualification for concrete testing. So, Whitney, good morning. Hi there. So, I was explaining that we have the Olson equipment that, that we bought, and I was right. just, just getting ready to set this up, cool. and I know you are the perfect I am tapper. so good at this. Hand. She is the scientific tapper. She nobody can strike a beam with a hammer better than Whitney. <laughs> the first time, the first time David was training me on it because he started doing this test, he was like, "Okay, now try to give it like a, a kind of diagonal tap." And every time I tapped it, it because he was trying to show me what a bad reading looked like. And every time the reading was just, he was like, "Oh my gosh!" It's so, like, well, I guess you're taking over. So this is just a little bit of a like a. A grease. It's just like if you get your um, heart readings at the hospital, they put a little stuff in to make it stick. That's basically what this is too. So we have a picture here on the screen and it shows us how to set things up. So we're going to just do one. We're going to do a, um, but we'll do longitudinal. That's all right. It tells us to do longitudinal. So we'll do longitudinal. So normally the standard only calls for latitude, right? Yeah, we can do longitudinal, which is the longitudinal modulus. We can do transverse, which is the transverse modulus. And we can do torsion, which is the torsional modulus. All the moduli are different. Okay, so let's see if we're ready here. We are ready. So we're ready for the perfect tap. Yeah, let's see. No, I probably won't get the perfect tap this time. So we're ready. Of pressure, David. Oops. Where am I tapping? Oh, oh on the side see here. See the picture tapping okay. on the end. Like a teacher. What does the book say? That's right. Did We're, you look at the example problem? No, clearly not. Okay. Um, we're getting just enough vibration. You don't have to take your Sorry. hand off the table. I'm this is trouble today. This He's going to send me to detention here. David is, used to be a professor, so. Okay. Uh, he puts on that professor cap sometimes. <gasps> that was not me, David. There's just too much vibration on the table. Ah! Oh. Perfect. It cannot be better. It cannot be better. Perfect tap. <laughs> so what we see is you see a set of vibrations. So it's vibrating back and forth, 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 up and down the um, beam with the vibration. And it does a fast Fourier transform and finds the resonant frequency. What, how this will actually resonate, what is its main vibration that will resonate. And we get one perfect perfect, perfect <laughs> peak from the perfect tap Thank you, David. <laughs> that we got. And we can read the hertz of that. We're seeing uh, 2929 And that's hertz. the data that you record? That's the data we record. We can use that data for some of the tests. Which test do we use that in? Free saw. Oh, free saw, of course. One we of our favorites. One of our favorites. We use that in free saw. We can compare a um, reference beam to a beam made with something else, an A to B comparison and see how the frequency changes as we go through cycle after cycle. What is the frequency telling us? Like, so we have our reference. Now, is if this reading, is it getting lower with each, like with the duration of, like for example, for the, the freeze thought test? Right, frequency is a function of stiffness. Stiffness is modulus. Okay, so, so the, we should be seeing a decrease as the test progresses. So the, the stiffer, the higher the frequency. Okay. So yeah, if the concrete as a whole uh, downgrades, 
then it'll lower the stiffness, okay. and so it'll get the frequency will get lower, and the okay. will get lower. Okay. But, 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 yes. if it cracks, then the distance is shorter. Oh. So if the distance is shorter, the frequency will actually go up. Really? Yeah. So, so then that's something that needs to be evaluated when you're yeah. evaluating all the data at the end. So either way, we've got what we want to know. Okay. The concrete is a whole downgrade. We can measure that. Right. If it cracked, we can measure that. Okay. So this test will give us information either way. Cool. So that's pretty much it. That's a dynamic modulus. One side note, a lot of people use dynamic modulus in analysis. So typically we think of dynamic modulus as being greater than static modulus. But I will tell you, having run hundreds of dynamic uh, tests in the lab and running hundreds of static tests in the lab, when you're, when you're analyzing real structures, you use real data. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I'm David. I'm Wendy. That's our talk on dynamic modules. Go concrete. Beat asshole. Thanks.